Rugrats. The most successful of the first three Nicktoons, and the biggest hit on Nickelodeon before Spongebob. It was so big, it had two spin-offs, three movies, one of which was a crossover with the Wild Thornberries, a fellow Klasky Chupo show, and a boatload of merchandise. Due to the 90s nostalgia craze and Nickelodeon's obsession with rebooting their old properties, they rebooted Rugrats for Paramount+. Plus. Rugrats is known for its imaginative plots from the perspective of a baby, and for tackling mature things like death. Some could even call it Simpsons for Kids. So, let's take a look at how Nickelodeon rebooted Rugrats. The key components to a good reboot is to be good for new fans and old ones too. The original crew members are back, including Arlene Klasky, Gabor Chupo, and Paul Germain. And of course, the original voice cast. For the babies mostly, they replaced all of the adults, even the ones with voice actors that are still living. You know, I could see why they replaced Stu and Lou because the original voice actors are both dead, but they had no reason to replace any of the others. I mean, how ridiculous is it that Kath Susie, who voiced Phil, Lil, and Betty, is returning on the show, but she doesn't voice Betty, only Phil and Lil. Despite the cast change, all the original characters are back, except for Howard, Kim, and Dill. I don't really like any of them that much. I remember Kim and Dill being rather unpopular, and their introductions sparked the downfall of the original Rugrats. And as for Howard, they wrote him out so that they could make Betty a lesbian. Considering how, how, how Howard was so wimpy in the original, and how Betty was a very strong, masculine-looking feminist, I wouldn't be surprised if they had a lavender marriage, and both of them were gay. Even so, I appreciate an original LGBT character much more than a pre-existing one being turned gay. And now, for the elephant in the room, the CGI animation. A really unpopular opinion, I think everyone's exaggerating about how bad the CGI animation is. I don't think it's bad at all. Sure, I think it needs to work out the kinks, especially in regards to the hair and the lighting. I really don't like how dark the house looks on the inside. It looks like an abandoned playroom. Other than that, it's fine. At least this is the best Klasky Chupo show they could have converted into CGI. Can you imagine if they made stuff like Wild Thornberries or As Told by Ginger CGI? I have nightmares for weeks. I've seen much worse CGI elsewhere, and if you compare the new robots to stuff like Donkey Alley, Ratatouille, or any of Vito Brinquelo's stuff really, Leo the Lion or JJ the Jet Plane, you still don't realize that New Rugrats looks like Pixar compared to these monstrosities. Besides, once you look past the animation, the reboot is formatted just like an episode of the original. Still has the same writing, feel, and everything. And the adventures they go on are still fun to watch. I mean, of course they have smartphones and other new technology in the reboot, but that's how the real world is. It's not pandering, it's just how life is. And at least they're not putting reference to TikTok stars or anything. That would be pandering. And everyone's personalities are so largely the same. Except for Grandpa Lou, he's a hippie now. Which makes sense if you think about it. Cause this show takes place in an alternate universe in the 2020s decade. So that means that the parents would be either Generation X or Millennials. And so that makes um, Grandpa Lou Really early Generation X, aka a hippie, straight out of the 60s and 70s. Whether you like the new show or not, you can't deny that a lot of hard work was put into it, and in my opinion, it's just as creative and heartfelt as the original show ever was. And so I'll gladly tune in to more episodes of this, and I'll happily take this over Camp Coral. Funnily enough, both shows have uh, animation budget issues, but that's Nickelodeon's fault not the fault of Isha's production crew. That's all for this video, see you guys next time.